guy's hired to fix a refrigerated box car in back of a train. He goes into the train, he panics, gets himself locked inside the box car. So now he's pounding on the door, there's nothing to do. He starts to panic and thinks he's gonna freeze to death. He finds a pen, he starts writing down, it's going through his mind and he writes down, I'm becoming colder. As people, one of the things we do to ourselves is observe and report. I'm not playing well, I'm having a bad day, we're having a bad quarter, my marriage isn't going well. We observe and report. Still colder now, he writes, nothing to do but wait. Half asleep, I can hardly write. Finally, he says, these might be my last words. They open up the boxcar many hours later and they find him and he's dead. But the temperature inside the boxcar was 56 degrees. The freezing apparatus was broken. There was plenty of air in the boxcar. There was no physical reason for his death. The best they could say is somehow he talked himself into dying. I realized that when I am in crisis, when I have quote unquote fucked up, my response is, you fucking idiot. How could you? Of course, what did you expect? If I spoke to my friends like I used to speak to myself, I would have no friends. So if you do talk to yourself out loud, and I do, make sure that the words are loving and supportive and nourishing. Start the work of being your own best friend. When you tell your mind what's important to you, there is extraordinary science that proves that your mind has a live and ever-changing filter, a, a live network that changes how it views the world, what it lets in, what it blocks out. And if you program your mind correctly, and if you're clear about what you want to create, your mind will help you get what you want. You're supposed to be at work 8 a.m. You're going to be there. If you work in a restaurant and your boss tells you to take out the trash, you're going to take out the trash. But when you tell yourself that you're going to start a YouTube channel on Friday, or when you tell yourself you're going to pivot in another direction, and you don't, why? There's a lack of respect for yourself. And you have to get to the root of that. You have to show up for yourself. You have to put your foot on the gas and go. If for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, what would you be like? Because you're not everything you could be, and you know it. What would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you. You'd be, who knows how much more efficient, 10 times more efficient, 20 times more efficient. You have no idea how efficient, efficient people get. It's off the charts. You understand the power of a five second decision, and you understand that you always have a choice to go from autopilot to decision maker. Everything in your life will change. You will be a different negotiator. You will be different in sales. You will be unstoppable in the gym because you will realize the amount of garbage that you put in the way of your hopes, of your dreams, of your potential, of your confidence, of your courage. Everything comes down to the decisions that you make.